Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here at Fort DeSoto in Pinellas County in the Gulf Coast of Florida doing some amazing observations and videos of all things nature. Gopher tortoises, diamondback rattlesnakes, ospreys, and here I found a fascinating tree with a fascinating biology called the strangler fig. And this tree gets its name because it strangles and kills other trees. So this episode here at Fort DeSoto in Pinellas County, Florida, in the middle of all these beautiful beaches is gonna be about the strangler fig, so stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So I'm videoing my narrative from this corner of the fort right across from a strangler fig tree that I discovered because I'm taking shelter from the wind. It's a beautiful day, but it's a really windy day as well. And I found this amazing strangler fig where I could walk all around it and show you some of the properties of this tree. Here in Florida, and especially in the Florida Everglades, this fascinating tree is also a keystone species. It's a keystone species because so many different organisms depends on it for both for shelter and for food. The scientific name of this fig tree is Ficus aurea. Strangler figs are also sometimes called the golden fig because they produce a continuous crop of seeds via the fruit that's very important to the ecosystem and is a major food source for many different organisms. The strangler fig has a very unusual method of propagation. It has sticky seeds. And these sticky seeds were probably carried by birds and other animals as they harvest fruit and take these seeds to different places. And when seeds land on the surface of another tree, for example, on the boots of a palmetto pine, they will germinate there and they'll exist as an epiphyte or a plant that lives on another plant without touching the ground. So this is kind of like an air plant. So this seed will begin to sprout and grow there and produce leaves and start doing photosynthesis and become stronger. And as it has more nutrition and more energy, it'll start to grow roots that go to the ground. And you can see these roots on these older trees that look like buttresses that go from quite some distance. So once those roots hit the ground, they start getting nutrition from the soil and water and they grow bigger and stronger. And as they grow, their stem will grow up to the top of the tree that's hosting it and it will soon spread its leaves over the top and choke out that tree from getting any sunlight. As it's doing that, the roots will go down into the ground and start stealing nutrition and water that the host tree would normally be getting. As it grows bigger and bigger, it starts to surround and envelop the tree that's inside that can no longer grow and it will eventually die. So the interior of the fig trees is often hollow and it provides a great refuge for lots of different organisms. In the Florida Everglades, in the hammock forests, which are about 10 feet above sea level, these trees thrive and they're considered keystone species because so many other organisms depend on them both for food and for shelter that they create. With this abundance of nooks and crannies, it's an important habitat for thousands of invertebrates, rodents, bats, reptiles, and amphibians, and even birds. So this is a special on the road episode with Nature Your Door. This is my first time exploring the Gulf Coast of Florida, and I've been spending time around Tampa and St. Pete. There are so many amazing wildlife refuges and parks uh, that are close by. Some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode about this uh, amazing strangler fig and got appreciation for the complexity of life and its life cycle and interrelationships with other organisms. And remember, this is a keystone species that many other species depend on in these hammock uh, tropical forests of Southern Florida. 
And remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.